Oh, we've had a three-phased um, uh, program, I guess. Firstly, we wanted to sign a core group from last year's uh, squad. We wanted to then put some good Australian pieces in and around that group. And thirdly, we're now working on our imports. And our fourth phase, if you like, is, is to complete our roster, depending on the uh, dollars and cents. Yeah, look, we've, we've taken a fairly um, deliberate um, response to this. With the, with the NBA lockout, we haven't been in a hurry. We've certainly told a number of our players that, that are looking for a contract. Benny Knight's one of them. But we, we can't proceed until we do all the due diligence we need. We are looking for a, for a power forward that can also fill into the five spot to give uh, Kazoo some, some good quality uh, backup. But Kevin Ratch, you know, our first American sign, can also fill into the four spot. So we've got a lot of flexibility in that area. Um, but we are deliberately looking for a power forward uh, that can swing into the centre position. Look, uh, and, and I've had a lot of meetings with Benny Knight. I know Benny Hollis, Jared Weeks, Kevin White, you know, um, Largoy, Scoinsy. The unfortunate aspect of this, of this game, and this is the hard part of, of the role that I play, is that uh, you've got to try and assemble the pieces um, in somewhat of a structured order. And if I use Ben Knight as an example, we really can't sign Ben until we know what's going to happen in the 4-5 spot. That might preclude Ben, it might not. Um, so there's a lot of consideration that goes into how you actually put this jigsaw puzzle together. Um, we've taken this you know, three, four phased approach. Some will say that's right, some will say it's wrong. Uh, this is a little bit like politics, you know, there's a thousand and one experts out there on the thousand and, on the thousand and second. Um, but we've all got to then work within the parameters of salary cap and a points cap. And uh, that sometimes too was very difficult. So you don't want to overexpose the number of points and not have enough points left and vice versa. And do you go for your Americans first and put Australian content in around them? I mean, I've got my own views on that. So look, that's where we're at. It's, it is what it is. It's not great for the for the Bennies and the Ben Hollises and the Damien Ryans of this world, it's, but that's the nature of professional sport. It's, it's the way it is. Yeah, look, the guys, uh, the Australian content will be in Sydney from uh, July 18, where they'll be one month. They've already been unofficially doing their weights, but from the 18th of July they'll be here officially. 15th of August we start our uh, structured pre-season. Um, what can you expect? Look, we, we made some inroads last year in terms of glimpses of how we wanted to play. We, we said we wanted to be an exciting basketball team. We want to be that. We certainly want to be tougher at the defensive end, and we've got to be able to do a better job contesting the basketball on the boards this year. And I think with the group we're assembling and that extra piece or pieces that will come in, uh, I think we'll achieve that. Oh, Bob's, well, one, he was my old coach, but two, he's a very close friend. Um, and our friendship will, will remain, it's very strong. Obviously I was disappointed to see him leave, but uh, the restructure of this club didn't suit Bob, uh, so he had to make a business decision. Uh, fortunately, uh, you know, he's, he's gone on to establish basketball for all, um, so his, his and our paths will always cross. Uh, he's been a confidant of mine since I was 14, so that's a fairly significant period of time if you're going to take an assessment of my age. Um, but I'm sure he'll do very well. It's a loss to the Kings, but uh, I'm sure it's right, a right move for the family, uh, Turner family. <laughs> That's a very good question too. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> uh, you know, my, my life pretty well revolves around this game. With three three kids that play it, um, I tend to I tend to spend half my life, no three quarters of my life in a basketball stadium. Um, I do enjoy a uh, Sunday afternoon at the Crown Plaza Hotel at Terrigal, just sitting on the boardwalk, listening to the music and, and having a lemonade, uh, and potentially going for a surf after a couple of lemonades. Yeah, that's a good question too. Um, look, you're probably familiar with the cartoon Rocky and Bullwinkle. It came from there. Nothing more sinister, nothing less sinister. Look at the staff here <laughs> taking the pee out of it. They can Google it. It's good for the 45 plus audience. <laughs> Nor can we.